on April 11, 1967, Prime Minister Sir Donald Sangster passed away in Montreal, Canada. He died of a brain hemorrhage at 55 years old. Prime Minister Sangster had spent less than a month into his term as the second Prime Minister of Jamaica when he decided to spend two days after the official opening of Parliament on a retreat in Newcastle at the military bungalow Bush Cottage to work on the budget. He had been shaven early on Saturday morning, March 19th, when he got a cerebral seizure. The maid found him on the floor and called for help. The official car hurriedly drove him down the hill and back to Vale Royal. No one initially took his condition seriously. Prime Minister Sangster was flown to Canada and admitted at the Montreal Neurological Institute. The Minister of Health, Dr. Herbert Eldemeyer, accompanied him on the flight. Other government ministers, Hugh Scherer and Clement Tavares, also traveled the next day to Montreal to give support to the ailing Prime Minister. The Prime Minister's cousin, Dr. Alfred Sangster, and Alfred's mother were invited by Parliament to go along with the ministers on the trip. The ministers had no tentative plans to return to Jamaica without the Prime Minister, so other ministers met in Parliament to temporarily reassign their respective duties until their return. Other government personnel working closely with the Prime Minister also flew to Montreal to see him. So Prime Minister Sangster was surrounded by family and colleagues. The illness of Prime Minister Sangster was a hot topic for Jamaicans who were quite suspicious at the sudden illness. They believed that underhanded practices were at play since he had only become Prime Minister the previous month. They were not aware that this was not the first time the Prime Minister had visited that same neurological center in Montreal. He made a visit the previous year in 1966. However, his doctors did not disclose any further information on the reason for that previous visit. If Dr. Eldemeyer knew that reason, he declined to disclose it or the results of any medical examination that was conducted at that time. The Prime Minister remained in a coma from April 1st until his death on April 11th. But prior to his death, he was knighted on April 7th by the Queen. His body lies in state in Christ Church Cathedral in Montreal on April 12th for Jamaicans in Montreal and Canadian Friends of Jamaica to pay their respects. The body was flown back to Jamaica on April 13th on a Royal Canadian Air Force aircraft. The body lied in state in St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, and Kingston. He was buried on April 17th at National Heroes Park. Prime Minister Sangster was recognized with an imprint of his face on the $100 banknotes. 
while this note is no longer in circulation, his memory will live on at the well-known Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay.